Hey everybody, welcome back to A Homestead. Today, I wanna to show you how these guys turn this into this. Let's get started. Thank you. 
right there going, it's bingo. Yeah, it's bingo. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but like. It ain't Taco Bell. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, she holds. <laughs> yeah. Huh. So it's all just on that cable, huh? Yep. You could hang like three fat chicks from that ring. Really? And then you, once you get all the weight of the covering on here, the more you go onto that cable, the more solid everything gets. I see. Huh. Money. I'm holding flush, so you're good. <laughs> we both got this. <laughs> Alrighty. This is the yurt, and this is Caleb from Intent Living. Living in Tent, your company. Living in your company. Yeah, so we uh, we have a yeah we have a your company here in Grass Valley, and we build uh, a bunch of different sizes. Um, this is a 24 foot we're doing with a 30 door as well as one of our French doors. Um, we make all these these doors by hand in the wood shop. Uh, we do a lamination process where we do opposing grain on some cedar. The reason we use cedar is because it holds up really well uh, with you know natural um, rot resistance. Um, and then what kind of a unique feature about our yurts is we use bamboo lattice that's cut precision on the CNC. We then put it through the shaper to give it a nice profile before we sand the tips. Um, yeah, so this would be kind of one of our standard doors here. There will be a wraparound deck built on this one. So this will be the back door, front door. Um, we use a white oak for the threshold just because it's a nice hardy wood that also is gonna hold up well over time. Um, and yeah, we're kind of just got the frame up. We've been working at it for about an hour and a half now. Um, rafters are made of fur, and then our compression rings are made out of a, a laminated bamboo. Um, that's also a CNC cut. And uh, yeah, this, this is uh, gonna be a pretty sweet 24 foot yurt. So the one thing that I thought was interesting is this cable. It just holds the whole thing up. That's uh... Yeah, it's insane. So actually it was like, I think it was uh, Pacific Yurts in the 80s create the kind of modern adaptation of the Gur or Yurt that was originally from Mongolia. And now this would be uh, traditionally a horsehair woven um, and there would be two central posts that would be going from the floor up to the ceiling. And one of the, the Western adaptation of the Yurt, the big difference was, um, well, one is the bigger diamonds in the lattice wall and then using an aircraft steel tension cable um, and this is rated to 6,000 pounds. So even though it's light on the framing and um, Joe was looking at it as a framer, he's like, well, that's, that's it. It's so like, yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy to wrap your head around, but all the strength comes from this cable and it's really a strength and numbers thing. Um, you know, each one of these components on its own, it doesn't have that much strength, but it's when you tie everything together. And then once we put the covering and all the weight of the vinyl on, it's just gonna add that much more strength. So, very cool. Yep. Well, let's get some fabric up, huh? Let's do it. Throw some fabric.
Ty Knots in Maine or? I'm a lot right here. <laughs> Countersinking these is crucial. They're not dealing with a lot of meat in the wood. And so we recently just started doing um, this rain diverter. And uh, what it is, it's a heat welded pocket that creates, you know, just a, a break because otherwise all the rain off the dome, all off the front is going to come down right onto this wood here. So. What I'm doing is kind of just mitering a piece of PVC pipe that I'm going to slide in from both sides. And there's little snaps here. Um, and I'm going to slide it in and then snap it closed. So that way the PVC is not just exposed to the sun and everything. And it's nice and sealed up. And then I'm just snapping this little snap here. Now it's in there. Do the other side. Now I'm doing that mitered area up to match the other one on that side. A snap. Boom, done. Bring on the rain. <laughs>
Oh my God, there's a yurt hey. here now. All righty, so the yurt's up. So how did you do it? Well, <laughs> we uh, screwed a couple of pieces of wood together right. and uh, voila, we got a yurt. So uh, this will be the front door um, when Joe builds the L deck that's gonna be going around it. Um, Gerilyn wanted kind of a panoramic view, so she opted for our French doors and then the two windows on either side of the door. Um, and these windows um, zip up and they've got a screen behind them here. And uh, the reason we do them like this is that way even during the winter time, we use the clear vinyl as the storm flap. That way even in the, the rainy season, you have a light coming in. Um, yeah, I went for the standard, you know, two-tone green, which is really popular in kind of this environment because it uh, blends in pretty good. Um, and then coming around the front, this will be the back door. Um, but this is just one of our standard 3.0 cedar doors uh, where we make up the panel out of cedar, uh, laminated, and put that in there, redwood stops on this one. And then coming in here, um, you can really see that, that panoramic um, effect that she was, she was looking for. Um, getting it a lot of nice light and having the deck out in the front is gonna be super killer. Um, this is pretty standard French door with the astrical on the outside. And then this hardware we've routered in so you can open it up and really get the full indoor outdoor living experience. Um, and we just wrapped up doing the dome hardware. So there's a crank that, uh, that you can hook on and uh, open up the dome with. And so you just crank it like this and that gives you a good five or six inch lift where you can really vent and in the summertime have these windows open and the two doors open and have that, that uh, rising hot air have somewhere to escape. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We, this has got a, the full insulation package. Um, so we've got a Mylar coated bubble insulation that then we sew a synthetic canvas into um, with the openings for the windows and that sort of stuff. That's suspended off zip ties from the tension cable. And then, yeah, I think ultimately this, this one came out really nice. And I think it's gonna be a cool, a cool guest bedroom slash guest home for Gerilyn. Yeah, I think it was pretty interesting. And the customer digs it, so uh, yeah. can't go wrong. Big time, man. And have you seen yurts going up before? You hadn't seen one go up. Uh -uh. Um, yeah, they're quick. I mean, it's a lot of working in the wood shop, getting it all ready. Um, but ultimately, you know, it's like four or five hours once you really start rolling with it, it's pretty kit. So yeah, uh, and if you are wondering about these yurts or want to learn more, um, you can find us at livingintentyurts.com. Um, and also you can find us on Instagram um, at livingintentyurtco. So check us out. Um, we ship anywhere mail is delivered. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.